Increasing net income has the effect of increasing retained earnings on the firm's balance sheet, which increases the book value of equity of the firm. The book value of equity is the difference between the total assets and total liabilities of the firm. The more net income that is earned and retained, the greater is the book value of equity. Because management's decisions directly influence a company's net income, they also directly influence its book value of equity. The market value of equity, on the other hand, is the total value of a firm's outstanding equity shares based on market prices. Investors determine the market price based on their perceptions of the firm's risk and the expectations of future cash flows. So the book value of equity can be seen as a reflection of a firm's past and present performance, whereas the market value of equity reflects the market's consensus view of the firm's future performance. The price-to-book ratio is the market value of a firm's equity divided by the book value of its equity. The PB ratio can be seen as a measure of investor confidence of a firm's future performance. A high ratio reflects strong optimism in future growth. Interestingly, the book value and market value of equity are seldom close to equal. Although management may be accomplishing its objective of increasing book value of equity, this increase may not be reflected in the market value as it does not affect investors' expectations about the company's future cash flows. As such, the market value of equity of a firm is not a fair measure of a management's past performance. A key measure to evaluate the effectiveness of management in increasing the company's book value is the accounting return on equity, simply referred to as ROE. ROE is calculated as net income available to common, which is the net income minus preferred dividends divided by the average book value of common equity over the period. ROE can be calculated using only beginning of the year book value of equity. The first method is more appropriate when it's the industry convention or when book value is volatile. The second method is more appropriate when examining ROE over a number of periods or when book value is stable. A high ROE is generally a favourable reflection of a firm's effectiveness. However, an analyst should examine the reason for an increase. For example, an increase in ROE can be due to book value decreasing at a faster rate than net income. This is not a positive for the firm. A firm can also issue debt to repurchase equity thereby decreasing the book value of equity. This would increase the ROE, but also make the firm's shares riskier due to the increased debt. Let's practice with some numbers. The following data are extracted from the financial statements of toy manufacturer Logi Plastics for the years 2016 to 2018. Calculate the PB ratio at the end of the year 2018. Pause the video now to work out your answer. And we're back. Our first step is to calculate the market value of equity, which is the number of shares outstanding multiplied by the ending stock price for 2018. Plug in the figures and we have a market value of $6,815. The PB ratio is simply the market value divided by the book value of equity which is $10,300 at the end of 2018. This gives us a PB ratio of 0 0.66. Notice that this figure is lower than 1, which means investors are pricing the shares lower than their book value. This could be due to investors being pessimistic about future growth of the company. Next, Calculate the ROE for 2017 and 2018 using beginning book value figures. Pause the video now to work out your answers. And we're back. 
The beginning book value is simply the ending book value of the preceding year. So to calculate ROE for 2017, we divide the 2017 net income by the 2016 book value. We get an ROE of 8.21%. Likewise, for 2018, we divide the 2018 net income by the 2017 book value. We get an ROE of 9.64%. Notice that even though the ROE has increased, this is an effect of a drop in equity rather than an increase in net income. This is not a positive sign for the company. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.